this tutorial. The purpose of this tutorial is to quickly show you how SQLite has insert or ignore statement. Now in SQLite, um, if you create a table with unique attributes and then try to insert duplicate values, it'll give you an error. Uh, let's pop SQLite and I'll show you. Uh, SQL3 um, i.db, that's insert ignore. Okay, I do a dot schema, nothing there. I go create table uh, names, uh, name string unique. So we know that the name of this table is names and it has a field called name and names have to be unique. So I'll, yeah, I'll insert I'll insert a field, insert into names values j. Oops. Insert into names. <laughs> there we go. M I'll insert. I'll try to do that again. And it'll reject it because j is not unique. So if I try k it works. If I try Ray, it works. If I try me, it works. And if I try to dump the table or to select all the rows in the table, you see you get J, K, Ray, and May. Now, there are many times when uh, you want to insert values into a table but they're already there and uh, you don't want necessarily to you don't want to um, find out if it wasn't inserted or, because it was already there so for example if I want to insert may into the table I get an error message then my if I have a program driving this what it tells me is it's not unique well okay it's not unique so I don't have to insert it no big deal I don't want to necessarily know about it in some programs. And the way to avoid that is you go insert or ignore into names k values may. Now what happens here is if may is already in the table then it won't insert it and if may is in the table then it will insert it so for example here you know notice it notice before you had insert into val into name values may and you got an error now go insert or ignore it just ignored it and to prove it if I select again may only appears once now I can also go uh, insert oops Insert or ignore into names value. Now I'm going to pick a, a name that's not already in the table. Okay, so it didn't me an error. Let's see what I get from the select. And you'll notice here, Shay was inserted or ignored, and Shay is there. If I repeat that statement for Shay, we get the same response. There's no error message, but if I do the select, you'll notice that Shea appeared only once. This feature is very valuable if you don't want to handle error messages in certain cases where you're inserting into a table where the value may already exist. And that concludes the tutorial on insert and ignored. I hope you enjoyed it.